No, a lot of people were wondering if Akai is ever going to have stem separation in the MPC. Well, it's obvious it might be yes. But let's go ahead and investigate it. Is Abercree lying? Or is he going to tell the truth? Tune in to the people's court. The Denon, I don't know what Denon stem separation. I'm going to type that in. Denon stem separation. All right, so, so to unpack this right real quick, I'm going to go over here to a video. I'm going to go ahead and do this video because it's only two minutes long. Big shout out to uh, Digital DJ Tips. For those who don't know, Denon is a part of the M Music brand. You know what I'm saying? They're a part of the M Music brand, you know, the, uh, the hate it. So this is standalone you I think it's the same people that are behind the uh, MPC software and the firmware and whatnot. It would make total sense. I'm thinking the, the real big issue with it is, you know, just the hardware itself. Like the hardware is limited. So that's why we're never going to see this in any of the current generation MPCs. So that's the biggest thing about it, guys. Like the MPCs right now aren't capable of a lot or well, the current specs of the MPC right now is just not capable of hand handling stem separation. Not in my opinion. That's why things like the Koala app can have stem separation without a hitch or just uh, iOS can have it because you know, the iPad is quite capable of doing that because of the architecture. You can just do a lot with that architecture. You have the, you load your track and then you'll hit the button and it'll fill up the bar here. Analyzing the That's what I hope for 808. Just as you can see, on its own or the instrumental. And even when it comes to Serato, which in my opinion is the best for stems yeah. separation out there right now, it's only really a doubt. or taking the acapella from a song that I would use it for, and, you know, just taking the vocal out and just leaving the instrumental has very mixed results. If you listen to it on its own, you're still going to hear some of those little artifacts, but when you put it in context with another song, which I'll do here, you don't necessarily hear too much of the nastiness. So basically what he's saying is that <clears throat> it's not perfect and you will hear like some bleed. Focal in the middle. Yeah, it's not perfect. It's not Serato quality. It's not too bad at all. Let's just throw a bit of beat over that. See how she sounds. So look at the track as normal for now. Now, now I didn't see if, you know, how long it took to calculate, because that's the other big thing about stem separation. There is a little bit of time for it to calculate, you know, different parts of the two track. So it can hear just the vocal, the drums, the melody, and the bass. I didn't see how long it takes to calculate, but I do, have experience with the DJ engine software and it's a slightly slow, but again, it's improving over time. And I don't know the exact specs of the Den this Denon DJ controller, the DJ Prime 4 Plus. I just know that, yeah, it's capable. Hey! Never thought I'd see the day, but it's here and it's edging ever closer to full release. Down at DJ Prime 4 Plus users. This is not out yet. This is not out yet. What I'm trying to say is, it's in the works. It's in the works. Now, this is what I want Akai to do. Kind of get around this shit. They need to implement it into the NPC software. I'm not, I would not be surprised if that was the first thing that they thought about. Like, if it's in the MPC software, more people would use the MPC software with their MPC. Trust me. I mean, I use my MPC software every now and then. I, there's a lot of improvements that it needs. I'm not going to even duck that. Like, I, VST3, come on, my man. Like, we, we definitely need that in 2023. I mean, you're a little late on it, Akai. The DJ Engine software, again, that team is the exact same team, or if not, a split up version of the team that will work on the MPC software uh, and the firmware. So it could be possible. Again, the Denon Prime 4 Plus has new specs for a standalone unit. Like I have the, the Newmark Mixstream Pro Go and it has the standalone uh, DJ Engine software but they're not planning on putting that out on that. I can imagine that we will not get it in firmware 
so it will probably be on a modern day mpc release in the future and i think the price point will be a little higher than what we want i know a lot of people complain about the mpc xsc's price point true i agree it's a little out there for for the value that they kind of stuffed in there it was it does have different specs than the old mpc x and all the other current generation mpcs minus the the key 61 you know you got four gigs of ram in there instead of like two let's say they bump it up to like eight gigs of ram the new mpc or whatever and you have stem separation I think it will be warranted for the $2,500 price. Now, this is where things get a little bit more complicated and there's a company that has been extremely quiet and it's scary. Ableton, they have a push three. That push three has time stretch in real time when you chop stuff. So it's the best sampler. Workflow wise, it's just not the best. People will overlook it for a certain feature. Imagine if Ableton Live strikes back the push three update and it has stem separation. Holy Christ on fuzz. That will be the, <laughs> that will be the game changing. Oh my God, I would hate to see it. I would openly admit. <laughs> I would openly admit that Akai has been finished in the sampling game. And see, the reason why I say that is because the Ableton Push 3 is quite capable of all that right now. You use Serato DJ Pro and it's really good. Oh yeah, I mean, stem separation as far as like your everyday desktop or laptop should be more than capable of handling it. And in itself, guys, like stem separation isn't a CPU friendly thing. Uh, however, from what I've seen, like what FL Studio or well, Image Line has done with FL Studio. It is it can be done quickly depending on how long the song is. Here's the biggest thing that makes Serato's stem separation great. One, uh, you get the data analysis. You get to understand what the scale is of that particular track or whatnot, and you can take that information. And if you have like a MIDI controller, the most modern MIDI day, MIDI controllers that are worth it have built-in scales, built-in progressions and so forth. Like the MPC, like theoretically, if the MPC had stem separation right now, I kid you not, you wouldn't even be able to, un you wouldn't be able to know what, what someone sampled if that stem separation was in the MPC itself, like in standalone or in the MPC software, because dude, you have the information, you have the data analysis side of the uh, artificial intelligence already in the MPC, and then you'll be able to just match the chord progressions and all that, like like that, it's real quick. Because it tells you if it's an A minor or A, or like if, it'll tell you if it's a minor or a major. So bruh, there's a reason why I I honestly like the MPC so much because it has some, some cheap shit on there. 